This is the Moza R5 bundle, along with some extra goodies that Moza Racing kindly sent over. Today, we're going to be unboxing it. Let's check it out. Now, before we get started, I just wanted to mention again that Moza Racing did send me over this R5 bundle, and I just wanted to give a quick shout out to them as I have been eyeing this for a bit, and I'm really excited to try it out. I also wanted to clarify that in this video, we'll be focusing on solely the unboxing and setting up aspects as it would be too early to give my thoughts on this bundle's performance before getting to truly test it out. That video will come soon enough, so if you guys are curious to hear my thoughts on that, stay tuned. Now let's get started. The Moza R5 bundle retails at a price of $599 US dollars, but their website has been listing it at a discounted price of $459 US dollars for quite some time. You'll find this discounted price will be the same with their partners at Micro Center. Of course, this being the bundle, we'll have everything we need to get racing right away with the base, wheels, and pedals. First off, we have the ES steering wheel. Made from aluminum alloy with a microfiber leather grip, this 11-inch wheel features 22 programmable buttons and 10 RPM LED lamp beads that are fully adjustable through Moses Pit House. Right off the bat, I will say this wheel does feel quite small in my hand compared to the Logitech G29. And I am not a big fan of the flow shift light design in comparison to the rest of the wheels in Moses ecosystem that have sequential flow. But that is just my preference, of course. One thing I do quite like about this steering wheel is the aluminum alloy shifters, where each shift feels very tactile. Just take a listen. That just sounds amazing. I think we also need to mention the great things I've heard about Moses' quick release system that allow for effortless changes to other wheels and their extensive selection. What if you use a non Moza wheel? Well, Moza has you covered with their quick release adapter, allowing compatibility between Moza bases and third party wheels. Next, we have the heart of the bundle, the Moza R5 wheelbase. As the name suggests, this aviation grade aluminum built direct drive base offers up to 5.5 newton meters of torque, a decent upgrade from belt-driven wheels we currently have on the market, such as Thrustmaster's T248 or Logitech's G923. This being one of Moza's entry-level base is definitely attractive for those still relatively new to sim racing, especially if you're mounting this onto a desk or stand. Speaking about the mounting method, the Moza R5 base comes with four holes on the bottom that you're able to screw onto a racing stand or cockpit. Or if you're mounting this to a desk, don't worry as this bundle comes with a 15 degree mounting clip. Now let's take a look at the SRP light pedals that are only available and compatible with the Moza R5. The SRP light is made from a high strength steel weighing 1.5 kilograms. That lightweight means you can easily move this bundle around if you're mounting this on your desk and the anti-slip pads will ensure it won't be flying away under braking. While you can adjust these pedals and spacing, and output to what fits your comfort, even if that means inverting them. The only negative I can point out about these pedals are the sensors. The SRP light utilizes a hull sensor, detecting the position of the pedal by measuring the magnetic field strength, which changes as the pedal moves. For a more immersive and realistic driving experience, sim racers tend to prefer load cell pedals that measure the force applied. One other thing we have to mention is a lot of negative things I've heard about the brakes, specifically that they feel no different to the throttle. Now, Moza Racing was also kind enough to send me their brake pedal performance kit, meant to increase braking resistance and give a more realistic feel. This $29 performance kit is a spring and damping block for a quick and simple installation, having us fixing the top two screws and pushing the bottom pivots into the groove of the pedal base. I would say this is a well worth upgrade for these pedals. In addition to the performance mod, Moza Racing sent over the SRP Lite clutch pedal. Constructed from the same high strength steel as the provided pedals, this is a great addition and easy installation for those looking to increase their immersive racing experience. Those interested in adding this to their R5 bundle can check it out at MozaRacing.com for about 43 US dollars. And that is everything that comes with the Moza R5 bundle and more. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't hesitate to drop a like and comment down below what kind of setup you guys are running. 
If you're new to the channel, make sure to stay subscribed for sim racing and sim hardware content. Now it's time for me to try out the Moza R5. Be on the lookout for my thoughts on this bundle in a future video. I'll see you next time and thanks for watching.